Hi there, it's Martin with OnTrack Mobile Data Recovery, and today's topic is phone batteries. Specifically, lithium-ion polymer mobile phone batteries as they exist outside of a phone. When you have a battery such as the one I'm holding up, it might be important to figure out if that battery is charged or discharged, healthy or unhealthy. To do that, today we're going to use two different tools. The first of which is going to be a Fluke 115 multimeter, and the second of which is going to be a fast charge activation charge board. Uh, both of these products are going to be listed below in the description. Uh, these should be commonly available electrical tools with the exception of that charge board that I listed here. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look at some batteries. Firstly, I have an iPhone 6 battery uh, to identify if that battery is charged or discharged, we're going to use a Fluke multimeter that I have here. First, we're going to place our multimeter in VDC, that's the V with the little line on top, and then we're going to take our battery and we're going to take a look at the label on the battery. If we look at this battery label, we'll see that its nominal or normal voltage is 3.82 volts. Now, lithium ion polymer batteries, their voltages vary depending on their various different charge states. A fully charged lithium ion polymer battery might have anywhere between 10 and 15% higher voltage than what's printed and labeled on the battery itself. So a 3.82 volt battery might have 4.2 volts, and that might mean it's fully charged. A fully discharged lithium ion polymer battery such as this one might fall somewhere in the area of 3.5, 3.6 volts. Let's take a look at this battery and determine whether it's charged or discharged with our multimeter. So we're going to take our probes and we're going to expose the connector side of this battery. Here we have the connector. And we're going to touch the alternate terminals on the connector. And look at our multimeter. And here we have 4.099 volts. That's effectively 4.1 volts if we round up. We know that this battery is rated for 3.8 volts. We just had it before. So we can determine if this battery is charged. A quicker way to do the same thing would be to use our fast charge activation circuit board, our battery. Notice it has connectors on here. And we plug it into our circuit board and we look at our LED readout. Now notice that it says 4.14 volts. When we use the multimeter it was more accurate. It was somewhere around 4.0995 or 4.099 volts. So there's a slight offset but this is generally good enough to determine a battery's charge state plus or minus 0 0.05 volts. Let's look at a couple more batteries. Next up, we have an iPhone 6 battery. We're going to plug that into our iPhone 6 port. And here we have 3.73 volts. Now the iPhone 6 battery is rated for about 3.8 volts, so we can right off the bat determine that this battery is discharged. Now, how do we charge a discharged battery? Well, in this case it's relatively easy. All we have to do is plug in a micro USB cord to the top of this fast activation charger. And let's see if I can get that plugged in. And there we go. Here we have our voltage, 4.26. And then here we also have our amperage draw. So as you see, the voltage is going to steadily increase as it draws amperage. It really is that easy. When we unplug it, we go back to our battery's actual voltage, which is in this case 3.75 at the moment. So over the course of a few minutes, the battery's actual voltage should rise and match the uh, voltage that you see there when it's charging. Here we have an iPhone 5S battery. We'll plug that into our charge board. And upon doing so, we see there's no readout. That's a bad sign. Let's confirm this with the multimeter. And our output for the multimeter is zero, nothing. 
So we have identified a bad battery, this guy. The last thing I really want to talk about, it's a little more difficult to explain because I don't have a battery that fits this condition, is something known as voltage drop. So you might have a battery that has a charge or is taking a charge, but is otherwise a bad battery which will cause the phone to boot loop or otherwise not work. The reason for this might be because the battery is unhealthy. Now how can you tell if a battery is unhealthy? That's what the condition known as voltage drop. So let's take a look at a battery. So we're going to use our same iPhone 6 Plus battery from before, and we're going to connect this guy to our multimeter. Upon doing so, we see a value of 4.098. Now if I held these probes, these terminals, and I waited about 10 or 20 seconds, maybe even a minute, and I saw that the value started to drop. So 4.098 became 4.096, 4.095, 4.094, and the voltage dropped steadily over time. That's an indicator that this battery is having a problem maintaining its charge. And it's otherwise an unhealthy battery because over time it's losing voltage, so the cells are depleting. Uh, that would be an otherwise unhealthy battery. I don't have an example of one of those right now, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Uh, that that otherwise would be an unhealthy battery with both voltage drop condition. So today we've gone over how to uh, identify a, a charged battery versus a discharged battery. Uh, we've identified a bad battery, and then we've also talked about voltage drop. Uh, if you find this at all helpful, uh, please like, comment, subscribe on the links below, and uh, have a great day.